My name is Gregory Futno, and I'm a senior scientist at Repros Therapeutics in the Woodlands, Texas. Repros is a development stage biopharmaceutical company focused on the development of new drugs to treat hormonal and reproductive system disorders. We would like to thank the British Journal of Urology International for highlighting our paper published this week entitled Differential Effects of Isomers of Clomiphene Citrate on Reproductive Tissue in Male Mice. One drug in our pipeline of development is one of the two isomers of clomiphene purified for the treatment of hypogonadal men to increase testosterone levels. Clomiphene is approved for ovulation induction in women and is often used off-label for elevation of testosterone in men. The mechanism of action of clomiphene in men is that the drug competitively binds to estrogen receptors on the pituitary acting as an anti-estrogen. The pituitary sees less estrogen, makes more LH, increasing testosterone production by the testes. The two isomers of clomiphene are N-clomiphene and zooclomiphene. N-clomiphene is being developed by repros for treatment of secondary hypogonadism in men by increasing endogenous testosterone while preserving and potentially enhancing sperm production, sperm morphology, and motility. Zooclomiphene has no effect on testosterone production and may have negative effects on sperm parameters. The two isomers, in addition to having different effects on testosterone production, each have very different properties. Each of the two isomers have different binding affinities to the estrogen receptor. Enclomiphene has an EC50 for estrogen receptor alpha of 16 nanomolar, while zooclomiphene has an EC50 of 610 nanomolar. Enclomiphene's half-life is 7 hours compared to zooclomiphene's half-life of 14 days. This long half-life results in high blood levels of zooclomiphene after long-term administration of clomiphene. High levels of zooclomiphene may have the effect of acting as an estrogen agonist. The question always arises among clinicians. Why not just use clomiphene to elevate testosterone in hypogonadal men? Are the differences between the two isomers significant enough to warrant an isomeric preparation? This report does show detrimental effects of zooclomiphene on reproductive tissue in mice. Effects seen are decreases in testicular size, decreased sperm production, late cell degeneration, decreased size of seminal vesicles, decreased size of epididymis, and decreased kidney size, which in the mouse is a sexually dimorphic organ. Even though clomiphene has been used by physicians for the past 40 years in treatment of hypogonadotropic men for the elevation of testosterone, one should consider the detrimental effects seen with zooclomiphene in this report when prescribing clomiphene to patients. Thank you.